So I think we all know that if you have money to put in the bank, you're not making much interest these days. But in crypto, you can actually now put money in and generate 20% stable income. And that idea just fascinates me. And that's why I wrote this paper with Stephen, my friend, who's the CEO of Harmony. My name is Hakwan. I am a neuroscientist. Stephen Te is my best friend from over 20 years ago when we were in middle school uh, as two young teenagers learning how to code together. When Stephen and I first started writing this paper, I was quite skeptical of the 20% annual yield as well. It almost sounds too good to be true. And I think in the paper, what we try to do is, for me as, a, as, a, as someone who's not actually in the, in the crypto space, who's not in the tech world, to try to break it down in, in, in simple logical terms, how it is even possible. In cryptocurrency space, there is a kind of protocol called proof of stake networks, which is what Ethereum and some of the other major protocols are moving into. You actually uh, try to validate the transactions by proving that you have a stake in the network. You own part of the, the currency. So if you own a certain amount of currency, it would not be in your interest to lie and to, to validate um, bad transactions. And now the interesting thing is in, in cryptocurrency, all loans are uh, mandated by smart contracts. They're mandated by computer programs. So then if you have just a little bit of money, you don't have to become the validator yourself. You can actually lend the money to the validator. And that, with that, you earn what is called staking fees. So by just putting down money and lending it to the validators, you can actually make up to 10%. And now the magic of how does, how does it become 20%, I think that's the genius of the Anchor Protocol. So Anchor Protocol is, uh, is the major landing protocol on the Terra blockchain. And Terra, the company, actually has a strategic partnership with Harmony. The idea is if you put money into the Anchor Protocol as savings, they don't just take your money, but they lend that money out to other people. They're not just going to lend you borrow it based on your credit score. So instead, they want you to be over collateralized. So you may wonder why would people want to borrow your, your fiat stablecoin money uh, in exchange and put down uh, collateral in, in cryptocurrency. The reason is because when they put down the collateral, they can actually get it back if they don't get liquidated. And I think the incentives are, are clear that most of them, those people actually are engaging in leverage trade and they would do because the market, if the, when, when the market is going reasonably well, um, then they put down $2 worth of cryptocurrency and then they borrow that one dollar's worth of stablecoin and then probably they will use it to reinvest into some other cryptocurrencies. So with just two dollars worth of cryptocurrency, they end up having three dollars worth of firepower for investing. So it becomes kind of leverage trading. So the leverage trade is the probably the most common current usage of, of this kind of borrowing. But in principle, you can also just borrow the money if you want to hold on to some Ethereum or some cryptocurrency that you don't want to sell because you think it's going to go up in the long run. You're, you're basically holding on to it. And you can also put it down as collateral and borrow some fiat money and just spend it and do something else. You can use it to buy a car, you can do whatever. And so long as you believe that by the time you return that money, uh, the, the market has not crashed yet. So then you can get back your, your collateral in, in, in cryptocurrency as well. You can also put down your collateral and borrow the fiat and then go back and put that fiat back into the anchor protocol and use it to generate 20% interest. So you can do this kind of loopy reinvestment, uh, which is a, a strategy to get higher yield as well. With the One Wallet, I think the, the vision is that we can get into this space and attract people to come in without having to deal with all the technicalities. So there will be no more seed phrases. You don't have to remember your passwords. Uh, it will just be like a browser extension or just a phone app. If you want to put your money into the saving protocols that generate 20% yield per year, you can just, which is just a matter of button click. If, if there is in fact a sustainable financial product that will give people 20% annual yield with very minimal uh, risk exposure, it's going to change a lot of people's life and how they think about savings and money. You are, you're making as much profit as the best investor without exposing yourself to the risk and or having to understand the stock market and, and watch the, how the stock goes up and down every day. Maybe at a broader scale, you might even think that this would help to um, ignite or, or speed up the process of thinking about universal basic income. If you're really wealthy, you're probably very smart with your money and currently they have access to these high yield products. And usually as a household savers, you're not gonna have those. But with this one wallet, one button click option, you can now suddenly have access to these high yield products too. So to help to level the playing field a little bit. Let's say we actually eventually have a stable coin that is uh, inflation resistant. 
that is not just stably packed to the US dollar, but is actually packed to your purchasing power. Then I can say, well, if you need $50,000 per year to spend, then what I need is a few times that amount uh, as a one-time payment to guarantee the, the, the universal basic income for the rest of your life. And I think people talk about universal basic income as a very lofty political um, theatrical debate, but, but quite often the problem is where does the money come from, right? But if we can actually help to write down and actually, okay, with these protocols via crypto, this is exactly how much you need to sort someone out for the rest of their life uh, at this level of uh, purchasing power per year, then I think it would help to make this go much more feasible. It's not unthinkable that we can actually just redesign the whole market based on these radical principles. And so if you are interested in the, the rationale behind, you should check out our paper, which is on archive and, and is downloadable for free. And hope that from there you would start to think about what crypto can do for you financially and also for the world. Not just how we can make 20% per year, but how it's going to redistribute our wealth in maybe a radical way. And I think hopefully that would um, ignite more discussions and thinking from, from you guys as well. I'd like to hear what you think, how is this going to change your life, how this is going to change um, our economy as we see it.